So, as you probably heard by now, next week is the annual tournament of champions. And now I do believe Paul has the final four participants that are going to Ecuador for this year's tournament. And I do, Brandon. And here they are. The final four participants for the semi-qualifying section of the tournament champions qualifying belongs to Suman Lus of Brazil, Joseph Dorrance of Chile, Cynthia Hendricks of Haiti, and Phil McLean of Puerto Rico. So now we are all set for the tournament champions next week. And congratulations to the four participants from Brazil, Chile, Haiti, and Puerto Rico. They'll be going to Kia Ecuador for next week's tournament champions. Back to you, Brandon. So we are officially set for the annual tournament of champions in Ecuador, which will happen next week. Right now, let's present our eight women's division races for week 22 action, and then we will board our plane non-stop flight to Kiel, Ecuador. That's my right, button. On to week 22's action here in Boston, Massachusetts. As we start off the women's division action this week with race number one with Sarah Granberry, Rona Hallman, and Marissa Heaton. And here's a look at the lineup for this first phase of the women's division play. I'm pretty sure all of you guys are wishing Raymond Hill best of luck in addition to the men's superstars. But let's see how they will fail this week. Everyone's on the clock, and please start the race! Alright, the women's division bases are up. And Sarah, Mona, and Marissa are trying their best to stay on mid rankings, especially to Sarah and Mona. These two don't want to miss the cut towards next fall's 2020 monster next fall. Right now, let's see how they would win this race. The three divas are going to eat the fruit. And it looks like Marissa Heenan and Mona Hartman are going to be battling for the lead up in the front with number one leading over the five to a job in third place. And it looks like Marissa Heenan is quarterback. As Sarah Granberry wins the winning toss. He's gonna be flying over the water, and look at this. He's using her muscles to climb the hill, and thus he will, she will have a commanding lead after taking a shortcut. She's already passing the flags into the south fire portion of the Air Course, trying next way to come back next year for Chow Racing 2020 next fall. At Speed Best Number 2 in this race, we may buy Mona Hartman, who is currently battling with Mercy Heenan for a second place, and take a look at number 1. He is getting left behind on the competition all the way in the back. Number two seems like he's also really near some help from the crowd. We are approaching the one minute mark. I do believe one of these two super challenges should get some help right away. And it will be number two who gets it. So he will try to lead number one of us. Meanwhile, Sarah Grandmother is approaching the wall. While the other two divas, Rona and Marissa, are bowing neck to neck. Bowing for second place as they make their way through the South Fire portion of the Emerald Course. And who will get the next command speed as Mona and Marissa head for the wall? It's number seven, trying to lead the other four to a child with fifth place. Poor number one, meanwhile, is still singing the last place blues all the way in the main pack. He might need to help right away, but it's Marissa Heenan who have the next command speed <coughs> Sarah Grandmella is already on the home stretch, trying to wrap things up. She should be able to wrap things up easily, and she is going to get the victory this week in home for coming back next fall. Next PS belongs to number one, and look at that, he really needs help, and I do believe he's going to probably move up a couple places that time thanks to SPOCF. As number six gets the turn now, as Sarah Grandmella easily dominates over the other two viewers, to win the first victory of Wii 22's Women's Division action. And the battle for second place continues to run strong. I do believe Mona Harmon has the edge early on. They're making their way towards home stretch. And here comes Miss Heenan with her second speed bus. She is going to make the pass from Mona Harmon to Queen second. That will leave Mona Harmon in first. Number two is now getting left high for number one. And congratulations to Sarah Granberry on a job well done. Yep, she stays about 500 for one more week. Good chance we might see her next season. There's more something coming up after we hear what for this.